Hey guys, so, well, today it is, if you can see that, it is Monday, December 2nd. So, time for an update video for the month of December. So, I'm starting it out here in my house. And while I'm in the house, I thought I'd show y'all our Christmas tree. So, we just had it put up on put it up on Saturday no I'm sorry Friday yeah so it's a it's a brand new tree we just bought this at Home Depot definitely a really nice tree it was really easy to put together too it has a built-in uh, plug-in whenever you would put it all together which that's really nice makes it so easy that way there's like no cord that comes out and gets kind of confusing sometimes if it's the right spot to plug it in at so so really nice and we've got a little angel on the top so cool alright so now we'll go outside Alright, so I thought I'd start out out front as our grass is now starting to go dormant. Last week we've had some nasty weather. It's been really cold and also some freezing rain in some areas. And I think up along in the Texas Panhandle, uh, it's snowed a little bit. And we're supposed to have some more. Uh, nasty weather coming by this weekend which could be a possible chance we could get some snow so our grass hasn't really grown that much since when I made the last lawn cutting video which was almost a month ago I made that video just two weeks before Thanksgiving leaves are starting to fall down on our maple tree here in the front yard so I just cut down the cannas out here. And we haven't have yet put any uh, Christmas stuff outside yet. And so my mother and I, we've been real busy with getting all the Christmas stuff out. And we also, we also cleaned out the big storage building, so I thought I'd show y'all it. It's really nice inside now, and very roomy as well. So yes, let me just turn the light on. So all of this stuff, this is just some other uh, Christmas stuff that we aren't using for this year they're just I just set them right over here for temporarily probably after the holidays we'll probably set them somewhere along here that way there will be much more room over here so it's really nice a lot more space in here now so yeah yeah there's all our junk <laughs> really nice even though for much more convenient for me right here that way when I have to work on some of the lawn equipments much more roomier see there's my toolbox right here the compressor and some of all the other stuff like the the premix fuels uh, the oil uh, the two-stroke oils for the echo equipments and in this box I got the, the hummingbird feeders and also the hooks to put the hummingbird feeders on there's the uh, adapter for the electric starter on my Lawn Boy 10606 my roll of number four starter rope I will eventually order a, uh, a number 4.5 starter rope to have 
for uh, lawn mowers. This one here it's only for uh, string trimmers, leaf blowers, and chainsaws. So yeah, really nice. And then my dad's bicycle is right there. Instead of having it be just right here, just when you walk in, just being in the way, especially that was always a pain in the butt, especially whenever I would have to pull the compressor out whenever I would need to use it. It's so cool. We clean, cleaned it up really good, the floor, and apparently some somehow some rodents had actually got in here, and there were some pecans, a big mess of pecans everywhere. So yeah, so it's really nice. Try to keep it all nice the way it is. Just get the door closed. All right, there we go. And obviously some more leaves have just started coming down. The leaves on this maple tree are almost gone. As you can see, there's still quite a bit left on. The leaves on our pecan tree are now just starting to fall. <clears throat> see, and I just also just cut down the cannas here in the backyard. And so I'm just going to let them let them decompose and then shred them. I know our, our chipper shredder can actually shred stuff that are wet but not too wet like this stuff because I actually have made that mistake one time. I think last year I made that mistake. I cut these and then shred them right away and I I almost clogged up the shredder, which I think I just learned my lesson this time. It's just only like uh, sticks and branches that are that are wet, not like vegetation like like these. <clears throat> so probably just for now, I'll just take those cannas and I'll just set them over on our compost pile and then until I'll let them decompose for a couple of days or in a week then I'll uh, shred them. Our garlic plants are doing really well. You know earlier this year they did come up and then for some reason I just don't know on what seemed to happen with them. I would have thought maybe if they could have died, but now they're coming up really good. Because I know these are garlics because I actually smelt one of the one of the blades, and it, it, they are garlic. Hopefully, they'll be all tall enough by next summer, and we'll harvest them. That way, we'll have some some home-grown garlic. And also, hopefully, hopefully next year we'll be able to have some pecans. We did have some pecans, but apparently the squirrels uh, took them before before we had even had a chance to harvest them. But my dad did get some pecans from uh, my aunt's place, from one of her pecan trees, or at least a few of her pecan trees when I when I was over there uh, just a couple of weeks ago or at least when my dad and I were over there a couple of weeks or three weeks I don't quite remember now <clears throat> and then now for this building probably need to do a little bit of cleaning but not too bad but I'll wait next spring and I'll by next spring whenever I
take out all the line equipment out to get them running. I'll uh, clean out this building. It, I've been keeping it all cleaned up. <clears throat> so, yeah. I know somebody requested me to do a little video of all of my lawn equipment, so I thought maybe just before, while I think about it, I can do it. And of course, there's the Echo PB400E, <clears throat> which has a screwed up carburetor, which I have it off, which I think all it needs is a just a partial repair kit, because one of the diaphragms is already bad. The Mantis mini tiller slash cultivator it's been working great it just except the uh, ignition switch on it is faulty sometimes sometimes it'll work sometimes it won't and also sometimes when I try to shut it off it'll it'll shock me the echo HC 150 the uh, MTD Yard Machines Chipper Shredder. Right down there is my Echo CS400 Chainsaw. The Lawn Boy 10533. I know Franco Alia has been requesting me to do a startup on this like numerous times. So I'm not going to bother with it. I'll wait until next spring to uh, pull it out and start it. Just I just don't quite have the time for now. Okay. The Lawn Boy 8461 commercial. It's been working excellent. The Echo SRM 225. It's been working great. My dad's two trimmers, the Echo SRM 2400SB and the Echo SRM 2201, they've been working excellent as well. So they're now put away for the winter. Echo PB251, it's now put away for the winter. the Toro super blower back. It does work however but just when I try to do that blower comparison video I the problem was just a, a faulty extension cord. And then my lawnmower, the Lawn Boy 10606, which it's put away for the winter because I did a video just over a month ago in late October on how to properly store your lawnmower for the winter. And the Craftsman mower which it's been working excellent. It's now put away for the winter. I still need to buy a get a zip tie since I've replaced it the, the choke replaced the choke cable for it. So I haven't started it since uh, replacing this, but I'll wait and do that until spring. Hopefully she'll start up a lot easier. And also, if y'all are wondering on why this deck is so nice and shiny, I applied some wipe new on the deck of this lawnmower. So she looks almost as good as it did when we bought this mower 10 years ago. And so, yeah. Let's see, and also, oh yeah, the PAS 230, it's actually out here because I was just using it on uh, just trimming some weeds on our on the flower bed after cutting down the cannas. And then the Echo PB500T Backpack Blower. Just an awesome machine. Almost a maintenance free machine. Just all you gotta do, just for this machine, is just keep it full of gas and 
just use it. And so yeah. And so so I hope y'all enjoyed this little update video. So I'm gonna go back and do a bit more work. So I uh, hope y'all uh, enjoyed this video. And so thanks for watching.